Ferdinand Romualdez. After more than 30 years, the rehabilitation of the Marcus name in the Philippines is nearly complete. Bongbong Marcus Jr., the only son and namesake of the country's late dictator, is now its next president after winning an unprecedented 31 million votes. The Marcuses are considered one of the most infamous political families in Asia, and their name has long been synonymous with decadence and abuse of power. They ruled the Philippines from 1965 until 1986, when they were ousted through a people power revolution. The President of the Republic of the Philippines. His inauguration on Thursday is noticeably more grand than those of his predecessors, Aquino and Duterte. There is more parade and pomp than usual, but his speech focused less on nostalgia and more on reconciliation. We will build back better by doing things in the light of the experiences that we have had, both good and bad. It doesn't matter. No looking back in anger or nostalgia. In the road ahead, the immediate months will be rough, but I will walk that road with you. The Marcos resurgence is the result of a decades-long, well-funded campaign to revise history. In this year's election, online propaganda, coupled with the Marcos family's vast wealth and their alliance with Duterte, paved the way for his presidency. But his administration is expected to face a tough road ahead. The country is facing its worst economic crisis in decades. Its education and public health systems are in shambles, and society is deeply polarized. Across the capital, several activists have been arrested by police, an all-too-familiar scene during his father's regime. But historians say although the past has a way of catching up with the present, the country's future under Marcos Jr. has yet to be written, and so there is little choice but to give it a chance to unfold. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.